Good morning, everyone. My name is Kelly Ross, and I'll be giving uh, the webinar today called Accounting First Steps. So what we'll be going through today is we'll be going through how to set up a subscription for the new accounting platform uh, for the Ag Expert. And we'll be going through a couple of the, some of the screens and also do a couple basic transactions. So to get things started, what works best is uh, accessing our platform from Chrome. Actually works really nice. And that would be done by going to www.agexpert.ca. And it will take you to this screen that we're looking at right now. From this screen, it allows me to sign in, sign in if I have an existing subscription. Also, it allows me to create a new subscription right here at the bottom of the actual listing here. So for the purpose of this demonstration, what we're going to do here is we're going to go through the actual subscription sign-in part. So we'll click on sign up now. It takes me to my email address. I've already actually created an email address here. I'll just gather it up here. And the unique password. Name. And then, of course, we need to agree to the terms. So then now by clicking on creating an account, that will then, what will then take place, it will then shoot an email to my Gmail account that I um, also have opened up in the top left-hand corner there. We'll then retrieve the email as a confirmation. So basically what that's just doing is just confirming that you're not a robot doing this and you actually are a real person. So I'll give it here about, oh, that's pretty quick. I was going to say we'll give it here about 30 seconds for it to come through, but it already came through. So here's our confirmation email, what it would look like. And all that needs to be done here is just click on confirm email. So by confirming email, it'll allow us then to continue on with the creating of the subscription and the account for the new accounting platform. And now it requires me to fill out a little bit more information. And I'll use my hometown. And of course, you see, if you don't have things formatted correctly, it does give you a reminder in red there, right below the actual cell. And so we have everything formatted correctly, so we'll go ahead and save this. And then now it allows me then to either jump into Ag Expert Field, otherwise Ag Expert Accounting. Uh, so for this webinar, we're going into Ag Expert Accounting. So we'll start with Ag Expert Accounting. And also for this webinar, we're going to start fresh. It allows me to do a migration of my data. Um, so I previously have data in my old Ag Expert Analyst program. It allows me to bring that data forward so that I can continue rolling with my actual day-to-day -day transactions. So we're just going to start fresh here, though, as a new, completely new user. And then now my book information here. And we'll just have a basic fiscal year of December 31st, 2019 as a sole proprietorship. And this is specific to this actual set of books. 
this information. So now it allows me to do, it allows me to dig a little deeper. Now it's going to start building our chart of accounts for us. So by selecting these options here, so for this uh, demo, we'll just select grains. But you'd select everything that you actually uh, market or, or, or grow or however you want to say it. For this uh, scenario, we're just going to select grains. Click on next allows me then to get a little bit more specific on what type of uh, grains I do actually uh, market. So we'll just say, oh, I don't know, hardwood spring wheat. Of course, I would select everything that I actually normally do actually grow. We're just going to select one for the demo purpose. And then now we can get started with the final step here. So this is a new platform we just released back in January. It's always evolving. We're always adding more features to it. But now we're looking at the home screen for Ag Expert Accounting. So what we'll do is we'll start off in the top right hand corner here. So we have a little people icon. People icon will then tell us um, some of my account information here, which allows me to change my password if I if required, and also allows me to change my address and also tells me here what type of a plan that I'm on. So this particular one here, I'm on a premium plan, which gives me all the premium features, which would include uh, payroll, I believe, and uh, what else does it give me now? Uh, payroll, uh, net filing and GST, inventory management, invoices and statements, uh, share your data with anyone you choose, that kind of information and also allows you to migrate your data in from the old Ag Expert Analyst program into the new uh, accounting software. From that people icon then too, there's also business information. Uh, this will tell me the specifics for this operation here that we're looking at right now. My fiscal year, contact information, business information. And it gives me some, some more specifics on my, uh, for if I'm using payroll, for my remittances, uh, also for my um, GST and PST, whether I process yearly, quarterly, or monthly. So it's just defaulted right now to monthly. And it also allows me then to download my migration tool that will has the capability of bringing forward my information from the legacy program, the old Ag Expert Analyst, into the new cloud platform, uh, Ag Expert Accounting. And then to, directly to the left there, there's the help icon. Help icon allows me to access my online community, directly email us, and of course our 1-800 number and our hours. And also what's new, this tells on the past releases of Ag Expert Accounting on what was in each actual release. And then to the left of that, it tells me what fiscal year I'm in. So right now I'm in 2019. And this is also where I would add a new fiscal year. So it's as simple, uh, I guess you could say the year in process is as simple as clicking on add fiscal year. Bang, it would then give me a 2020 year is what it would also allow me to do. And then here's kind of a quick icon that allows me to do most everything I would be doing in a day-to-day -day operation from my, for my transactions, a deposit, my income, deposit, receivable charge expenses, withdrawal, payable charge, and also my general journal entries. Then over to the left over here, this will then list if I have more than one operation um, within the actual Ag Expert accounting, it will list my, my two operations. So right now, as you can see here, I'm in Ag X Farms. And then it defaults me on the left-hand side. There's also an icon here for my dashboard, which I'm on right now. Uh, chart of accounts, income and expense. This allows me to access my transaction entry screen. Uh, payroll, banking allows me to do my bank reconciliation. Taxes, processing my GST, inventory, and reports. And then the more option there too is for capital assets, general journal, and sharing with another um, another partner, I guess you could say, or my accountant perhaps. Let's get back to the dashboard here. So to start a transaction, uh, what you'd be then doing is you have two ways of doing it. 
I could go to income or expense, or I could go in the top right hand corner, my plus icon there. And same thing, I could then do a deposit or withdrawal, which would be then associated to income or expense too. So for this purpose of this demo, uh, what we'll probably do here then is we'll start off with just maybe a deposit entry, uh, a basic grain sale is what we'll do here. Just to show you, show you the transaction, or I guess you, you could say the, the deposit screen for this particular scenario here. So what we're looking at here is where you'll be doing your day-to-day -day entries. So as you can see in the top left-hand corner, it's uh, right now set to deposit, and of course I could change this. And then it requires me then to choose a customer. And as you can see down here, it then will allow me to select, um, I'm doing a deposit and I'm doing it for what? So let's just go through a, a grain ticket, maybe we'll say here, with one expense. So we'll choose a customer. If I don't already have it in my list, I could add it on a fly here. So we'll click on Add New. And let's go to Richardson. Richardson Grain, we'll call it. So all it requires then is just to simply a co uh, company name, and I could save that. And then from there, it allows me then to choose which bank account I want to uh, deposit this money into. So we're going to select our 1000-01 account. The date in which I want to do this. So let's backdate this here. Uh, let's go in January 2019, uh, the 24th, I guess you could say. Reference could be maybe a grain ticket. So we'll just do one, two, three. And then now we would get down to my type. So this would then be declared as income. And it would then allow me to get to my hard red spring wheat. So as you can see, what we're seeing here right now is um, previously when I created this subscription, I selected hard red spring wheat is the commodity that I grow. So then it then populates my chart of accounts based on those that selection for income and expense. And a description. Quantity. We'll just say 20. And our amount then we could then say will be, oh, I don't know, let's go with um, $8,000. No tax on this sale. And we'll say we had freight on the actual sale. So it allows me to add a second line. And this will then be an expense. And we'll go and see if we could find a freight expense account. Oh, selected the wrong one there. There we go, freight and trucking expense. And let's say it was maybe $1,200. And there's tax within the, that actual charge. Both taxes and amount we could select for that actual uh, Expense, so then now it separates out my GST and separates out my PST. So then now if we look at the bigger picture with our debits and credits, what we have going on here then is we have X amount of dollars. We have a um, total of $6,800 affecting my, um, my checking account. We got an amount going into our GST uh, paid account. Then we have an expense, and we also then have our two inventory accounts here. I forgot to put inventory in my inventory account, but this should still work out. And then we've declared $8,000 as income. And then, so basically our next step then would be to save this entry here. And the transactions then saved. Uh, one other thing actually I could take you to, I probably should have took you to that a little sooner here, is showing you the chart of accounts. 
So at the very top left hand corner here, here's our chart of accounts. So this is a listing of all our assets, uh, liabilities, equity, uh, income and expenses. So it's based similar to the uh, legacy program, the Ag Expert Analyst, where our assets are 1,000, liabilities 2,000, equity 3,000, income 4,000 series, and expenses 5,000 series. So what we're also seeing here then too is, so we're seeing that one bank account that we used here, and we're also seeing our deposit here for $6,800. And we're already seeing our GST and our GST account for that one transaction that we did for $54.05. And just to show you a little bit deeper here, we only selected hard red spring wheat that we're growing here. But if you did select more when you initially created that subscription, it would then populate our grain inventory uh, accounts with all the accounts based for that actual inventory item. For those inventory items you selected. So seeing I only selected the one, it just gives me the one here too. But of course, if there's something there that um, that isn't in the listing and you need to add it in place, it could always be added right on a fly here, right through this actual uh, chart of accounts. I would just be clicking on Add an Asset here. Add an Asset Account. And so what I could also then show you guys is uh, doing an expense. So from the left-hand side, we could then select expenses, transactions, new transaction, and we'll do a withdrawal. So maybe we'll do a withdrawal for power bill. So once again, it's not listed in my actual listing here, so I'll click on Add New. Power Company. Save that. So we're going to use that for our actual supplier. Bank account, I could choose from uh, any one of my bank accounts. We'll just default to 1001. Date. Change my date. Make it in January again, January 25th. Reference. And then now my type would then be an expense. And we'll then go and select our power account here. I could either type it in at the top or I could actually go through it. I already started going through it, so I might as well just finish this off here. As you can see, it defaults with a nice set of chart of accounts, a uh, nice set of expense listings for a farm operation here. Power. There we go. I could have typed it in, I guess, and that would have probably been a lot quicker for demo purposes, but too late. And then so we'll make our amount. We'll say it is um, 750 bucks. And within that actual amount, there's taxes both taxes and amount. So once again, it's going to separate out my GST and PST. And basically, it's a done deal. If you truly wanted to, you could review it, or you could add some notes to it. But all we need to then do is we'll just click on Save. Transaction's been saved. Let's close out of here, and let's go and look at some reports here then now. So let's go on the uh, left-hand side. We'll go to Reports. And let's look at an income expense report. So right now it's defaulted to current fiscal year and it's going to be on a cash basis. So as you can see here, what we have done so far in this actual database is we did one grain sale for 20 tons, $8,000, and that's showing as income. And we had some freight. And then we had uh, our power bill, which would have been $716 um, before tax. So it then gives us our net income. Close this. What we could also then do is I could show you how to uh, how easy it is to process your GST. So we'll go to taxes, process a new turn. So beforehand I had it set up for monthly, 
So that's also why I plugged in all my actual transactions for January. So it makes it easier then to process the very first month. So click on review. So what we're seeing here then is we're seeing that sales and other revenue, $8,000. And we're seeing our two GST, um, GST paids that we had. I believe one was for freight and one was for our power. And then it also tells us in the top left hand corner there, you'll be refunded $87.83 based on these two amounts. And that will be posted to our CRA GST receivable. So then all that needs to be done is just click on save in the bottom right hand corner. And it then puts it into our accounts receivable then for us. And as you can see then, we have our GST number one done. So if you're doing it monthly, it would then populate with uh, the rest of our months as we continue on all the way to our 12th month. And so that actually uh, just to sum things up for the agenda, that actually takes us through um, pretty much going through a subscription, creating a subscription, going over the business information, going over some of the icons, um, doing a withdrawal and a deposit, and then also processing our GST, and re uh, reviewing some of the reports that we also did, did there too. We reviewed an income expense report. And so what I'll then do is I'll leave it open for some questions uh, for a minute or two here. If there's any questions, I'll be glad to help you out with that. Well, if there's no questions today, I'd like to thank everyone for attending our webinar, uh, Counting First Steps. And as you can see, it's solid, simple, and built for the farm. And I invite everyone to uh, create a subscription and try it out. And if you do have any questions, you can always get in touch with us at 1-800-667-7893. And once again, my name is Kelly Ross, and I'm a support analyst with Ag Expert Accounting. And uh, thank you for attending. Have yourself a great day.